Moving on then, let's talk about the second out of our three methods, and that's our convert and translate convenience method. Uh, basically, the purpose of the method is to convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian so that we can uh, find out the end point of uh, each of our hands that's not at the center. Um, and also, this method will do our rotation to put uh, the zero radian line uh, at the top the north of the screen rather than the east of the screen and the translation to put the center of all that in the center of the display window so the origin goes in the center. Okay, So in terms of uh, parameters there's two to this uh, the theta which is the polar angle and now we're assuming that zero is at the top so uh, that's the, uh, the operating assumption in our draw is that the zero radian line will be at the top and that uh, length r as uh, just as standard. So, for instance, the second hand has 250 pixels of length. And what we're reduced, uh, returning rather, is a p vector. Now, a p vector is a object that processing provides. It can hold either two or three uh, float elements. And so, in this case, it'll turn uh, re contain two elements, uh, the x y coordinate that we need to send back. Okay. So, there's our signature line. We're going to take in theta and r and return the vector. The first thing we need to do then is that rotation. So, to do that, all we're going to do, as we've discussed before, is rotate the angle uh, counterclockwise by one half pi radians. Uh, processing has several built in uh, constants relating to uh, the unit circle and half pi happens to be one of those and so now that will put our zero degree line at the top just like we assumed it would be for our work and then we have to go ahead and convert into uh, Cartesian we'll use those two uh, formulas that we showed earlier for that so I'm going to return a new p vector object and the two parameters to the constructor are going to be the x and y values. Okay, so my x value is r times the cosine of theta and then I have to do my translation. So I'll put in uh, app center which is the width of the app divided by 2 and then my y value r times sine of theta and again, do the translation plus app center, which will move everything to the center in terms of the origin. So there we go. Convenience method to convert polar into Cartesian, also doing our half pi rotation and our translation. And that leaves one method left, and that's where all the work gets done in draw.